Hello and welcome to Trojans Live. You can see Talanoa's got the, the hair looking good. He's ready for his season to start. How's your camp been, Talanoa? We haven't talked to you in a while. Yeah, the camp has been going great. It's uh, definitely an opportunity just to hone in on my skills and, and ultimately just try to, you know, be the best team player I can be. Uh, I've tried to, I think I try to take that role on as, as much as possible and be more vocal and kind of be a leader in a sense and trying to get my guys going because we're excited to get the ball rolling uh, coming game one. Helen, a huge year for you, your junior season. It, it looked like it may not happen, you know, the, the pandemic breaks out and a lot of things. How did, how did you men mentally stay in it and, and still prepare like there was going to be a season, even though it looked like it may be in doubt? Uh, you just, you got to prepare. You know, obviously, there was so so much uncertainty with uh, the season. Uh, you know, you know, you don't even know what's going to happen tomorrow. You know, so we're just, you know, we're preparing to be the best team we can be, even if it's uh, we play tomorrow and we, or we play in six months, you know, and that's how we treated it from the very first beginning of, of quarantine. So uh, we're just trying to be the best uh, uh, team out here and we just want to uh, put on for put on for the fans and ultimately just uh, get wins as much as possible. So... <laughs> I'm really looking forward to watching this secondary play. You know, you guys got old in a hurry here. I mean, last year you're really young, but because you played so much, I mean, you look at that group, you're you're a year ahead of some of these guys and, and, and pull them out, but you guys were hurt, so you didn't have a ton of game time going into last season. Elijah Griffin, same way, and then Chris Steele's a freshman. ITS was, was just getting started. Now, listen, college football is funny that way. Now all of a sudden you're old. You got this old secondary. How do you guys view it to basically bringing everybody back? And 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 how good can this unit be? Uh, you know, sky's the limit. I think our unit has done a great job. You know, we we had some rough patches last year where we we trying to learn, like we said. And it's not just other people. It's me. And, and you know, it, it comes from you know reps and reps and reps. And so having those time and the the, the ability to get back on the field has done a, has been a blessing because we're just building that chemistry as much as possible. And, you know, when you have guys that have been in the system for two, three years now, uh, you're, you're able to – and when I say system, I'm not, I'm like, talking about scheme-wise, but just being in the, on the field together. You start to yeah. understand what, where, where you can make up for other people's lack or you can ultimately help people make them the best player on the team. And you, you it, it really is just a, a, a token to what we've done and uh, what we've done over the couple of years. So we're just uh, – we're really excited. Yeah, a lot of guys coming back on defense, but you do lose a John Houston Jr. and who's kind of the leader on that defense, the vocal guy. Who's really stepped up in that role and become the vocal leader on that defense? Uh, you know, in, in my opinion, I think, you know, the, the safeties and the nickels, but, you know, have done a great job. But it's really all over. I, re I really want to say it's a three-level defense where we have to communicate through all levels. Uh, the linebackers have done a great job. Raylan Goforth has done a great job stepping in and doing uh, his amount of work that he needs to put in and having EA be there just to guide him and, and ultimately put him in the right spots. And, you know, we're doing a great job of just communicating because it has to be all over. You know, if we're all wrong, we're all right. So at the end of the day, we're just trying to do the best to, to make plays and ultimately get off the field as best possible. And you have two full-time coaches in that uh, secondary, specifically to you. You have Craig Niver. Uh, what's it been like developing that relationship with him? Obviously, again, not the most normal year. You didn't have spring with him. You probably had a lot more Zoom meetings than in-person meetings with him. But uh, you know, what's it been like developing that rapport with your new coach? Uh, it's been a blessing. You know, he's done a great job just, you know, helping all of us to come together. You know, he wants us to be a more vocal team and more vocal group. And we kind of want to take ownership and, making sure everybody's on the same page and making sure things are – because if at the end of the day, we got to make people right. So, you know, if a, if a touchdown happens, you can you can put that on us because at the end of the day, that's what we, – we take responsibility for that. There should be no uh, no no room for that, for errors. So uh, we just want to do the best we can and, and play at the highest level as possible. And ultimately, we just want to have fun. You know, coaches really preach at the end of the day, we want to run a hit. But if you're not having fun with it, you know, you, you want to put a smile on your face while you're out there as well. You were part of a, a, a scheme last year for the last two years that was different. What does what this scheme and Todd Orlando's scheme do for you, and how does it you know, allow you to make plays, and do you feel comfortable in it? I, ultimately, it helps me make other plays for other people. Uh, I really you know, I just want to be there to, to make, all, make sure all of our guys make plays. Mr. Assist, huh? We're going to call you Mr. Assist. Call me Mr. Assist, because I'm, I'm not I, – I can't – you can't put all the credit for me, because at the end of the day, you know, you just want to, you want to have a, a successful defense, and you want to be, make sure everybody is on their assignment, so, you know, those are the big wins, and those are the big plays, is when you can make plays for other people, uh, some of those are the, some of those are the best feelings that you can get, 
when it comes to making a play is when you can make another play for somebody else. So. You're known for your tackling, Talanoa, but we've seen some poor tackling around the country in some of these early games, and I know it's a concern of coaches. Are you worried about uh, t you know guys tackling in, in the first game of a season when the offseason was not the way it was supposed to be? Uh, you know, we really wanted to hone in our skills. Like uh, I, I think I said this previously in, in other, other talks with other people, is we really just want to lock in on that. You know, Obviously, there's going to be some rest, but you know, our coaches have done a great job of throughout camp putting us in those situations, those live full contact situations where we have to make plays in the open field. And so we just want to do our best and we got to lock in when it comes to the first game. Cause like I said, safeties were responsible for those plays. And so honestly, we can't be hundred percent perfect. We're trying our best, but at the end of the yeah. day, we want to do whatever we can to make, to make, uh, to make everybody right. Yeah, you talk about that first game and you're going against a, a talented young quarterback in Jaden Daniels and a talented wide receiver in Frank Darby. Well, I know it's early in the week. What, what have you seen from them and, and what do you expect to see from them on Saturday? Uh, you know, guys that can make plays. You know, I, as we listen to Coach Helen say best, you know, we, we got a quarterback that can run and can throw and has great deep ball threat and intermediate threat as well. So uh, just to make sure we lock in on those guys as well and, and key those guys because, you know, at the end of the day, they're the guys that can make plays and are threats to, uh, to a defense. So we just want to do our best and play our game, which is run and hit, and uh, be all over the field as fast as possible. Well, Talanoa Hufunga is certainly one of the leaders of this USC defense. He was a leader all offseason. Oh, they're making the tees. Get He's ready to Get go. The Sean's ready. fired up for him. One of his favorite players. Talanoa is ready to hit somebody. That first hit, once you get that out of the way, Talanoa, then, then it's on. That, that, that's going to feel good on Saturday? Uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> Light somebody up and give them the tee, and then we'll uh, get going with the rest of football season. <laughs>